you know, for Godolphin for us to come over with, you know, a live contender is always exciting. And uh, you know, His Highness, that's what uh, you know. That's what we're out to achieve is to to go back out on a worldwide stage and, and, and be competitive. It's it's, uh, it's all very well turning up in these races, but you want to be at the fore of the you know of these of the betting market, and that's where he is. So uh, hopefully, we've got a live shot there tomorrow. Well, why do you want to win any race? But coming over here, this you know we know this is a very prestigious race. Um, so uh, you know to come up to firstly for us to to get over here, you know, well, it's, it takes a bit of achievement to get us, get us here. Um, like I say, there's a lot of work that's gone into the horse, and uh, you know, it's, come, it's come on to a worldwide stage like we are uh, tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. Delighted with him this morning. Um, you know, he's travelled over well, and um, he looked, you know, Mikey uh, Ennis, he's, he's, you know, rides him all the time at home. He's, he, he was delighted with him. Uh, his bit of work there on Tuesday looks to come out of it very well. Uh, he's actually a bit more sprightly here, I was just saying. And to the guys, he's a bit, a bit more alert here than he would be at home. You know, training on the track would be unusual for him now. Like I say, back in the UK, they'd be used to you know, more, uh, like more conventional training. So on the track, there, it just lights him up a bit more, which is good to see. He's showing his well-being out there. Now, everyone, uh, people always like, is there pressure? No, it's not, it's the excitement, you know? Um, it's a great challenge. We, you know, it's a horse that we, we purchased to potentially come out here and, and to get him here. So it's a great achievement by the team. Um, they've done a fantastic job with him. I think he comes in with a good profile into the race. You know, he's, uh, his, his start, his run style back home there. It's, it's, uh, you know, he's on the four, you know, up on the, up in the van there, as we would say. Um, you know, he dropped back in trip down his last start, um, dropping back to nine in the strength but he galloped out strongly. Um, you know, some people have said, you know, questioned about going up, stepping up to the mile and a half again. You know, he's been beaten by two serious horses back in England when he as a three-year-old there in, in Space Age at Royal Ascot and, and Highland Real at Goodwood. Um, and it wasn't, you know, he wasn't stopping when he was, he was just being on the day by a better horse. But he's done well, he's strengthened well, um, and, and I've, the, the, the trip is definitely not a concern of mine. It, this horse was purchased back in the spring, February, March time. Uh, I think in February and March he arrived at the stables there um, with this sort of race in mind. Um, you know, whether uh, if he had potentially got up the ratings a bit higher in, in England, we, you know, something like the Cox Plate was going to be considered as well. But um, you know. We're, we're delighted to to be here and, and you know be, be hopefully be like I say very competitive tomorrow in the, in the Caulfield Cup. He, he's grown up a lot since a three-year-old. He was a bit keen on his races, but he, he he gets into a nice rhythm now. Um, it's just his run style is is nice to just get him up up on the front end there and, and just let him get into the get into the race. Um, he accelerates well from the front end as well, so uh, it, it hasn't got to be up there, but it's, it simplifies things. I feel when you're up there and uh, less traffic to worry about. You know, James McDonald, as we know, he, unfortunately he picked up that ban and uh, as soon as I heard that, uh, I was straight on the phone to Karen and, uh, yeah, it's great to have him on board. Um, you know, I've worked with Karen when he was, uh, work, you know, working for Godolphin then, uh, back in the UK, so uh, he's riding at the top of his game and so, uh, you know, he's a great asset to have with on a horse like Scottish tomorrow. Personally, I think he comes in with a good profile. Um, you know, you can tie little bits of form in around it all with, with a few of them um, and, and, and when you do do that, I feel that he's coming out on top. Um, but uh, most importantly, as we all know, on these sort of these these trips, you want you want to come in on the back of a nice, you know, going in, in as I say, the right way. And he's come off the back of a win. He's travelled well. He looks great. I can't give a negative. John Ashe has always been very very kind and, and given us you know his uh, his ideas and, and what what we need to look for um, for the type of horse to come down here. Uh, he came over to England there for, you know, during uh, Ascot, so we caught up with him a lot there at the stables there. Uh, and obviously James McDonald has been over there the last two years. He, you know, two years ago he rode winners for us back in the UK and uh, and was there again this summer. So you know, ha having to having those two guys around to be able to bounce some ideas off is uh, is great for me and the team to have horses here. That's what what, what we're aiming to to achieve year on year now. And this is my first trip over here and, and the guys as well. And um, so uh, for us to have come over here, like I say, with a with a live shot is uh, it's exciting. Um, you know, some people, as you mentioned, there is there pressure, no, it's excitement, and, and, and His Highness puts his full support behind it. Um, you know, we've got runners here that we hopefully we might try and we can get a, get a win under their belt here, um, get them into the into the Melbourne Cup as well. Um, but uh, you know, I was talking to a couple of the guys there on, on arrival, and I've barely been here for 24 hours, but uh, you get a, a good feel over here, and, and uh, you know, what the one thing we, do, we should do is go home, and uh, we'll make sure we try and find a live contender for next year's Melbourne Cup as well.